Hello, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sign a pre-prepared other support document digitally using Adobe. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the other support document that was sent to you by your research administrator, and then you're going to scroll all the way down. And what you're looking for is this flag over here. You might see a blue box here, but typically if you see the flag, the box is not, clo not far behind. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on that box that is over there. Now what opens up is going to show you these are the two signatures that you can use because I already have those saved. But if you don't have one, you can click on configure a new signature and then click on create a new digital ID. And then you can either save it to a file or save it to your Apple Keychain. I typically save it to a file. That's just my habit. And then click continue. Once you fill in the information for this, then you can click continue and it'll create what you see over here. Okay, so now assume we have this already. I'm going to go ahead and click on the signature that I want to use to actually sign this particular document. So I am going to click on Sammy and then I'm going to go ahead and click continue. When I do that, I'm going to have to put in a password because I used an, um, an authenticated file when I created the digit when I created the digital file. So I'm going to put my password in here and then I'm going to go ahead and click sign. When I do that, I need to save it. So I'll typically save it with other support, my name, and then signed or signature. And then there you go. That is a digitally signed document that you can send back to your RA, and then they can use that to uh, put in your other support, progress report, whatever is needed.